In this practical, we'll be writing the naive exact matching algorithm that was presented in lecture and using it to match artificial reads to a genome. So let's begin by downloading uh, the genome uh, for the Phi X uh, organism. So I'm going to just do wget. Uh, there you go, download that. Um, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the read ge genome function which we wrote um, in one of the previous practicals to read this. So I don't have to re-implement that. Uh, I'm going to use that to just read the genome we just downloaded. Okay, now we've done that, let's write the naive exact matching algorithm. So I'm going to write a function naive, and this will take two arguments. One is uh, p, which is the pattern we're searching for, and then t, which is the text to search. So p, for example, could be a sequence uh, that we uh, read sequence, and t would be a genome that we want to match it against. Uh, so I'm going to create a list of uh, occurrences. And this will keep track of all the indices where P matches against T. And what I want to do uh, is I'm going to loop through every position where P could start. So for I in range, from 0 up to length of T minus uh, length of P plus 1. So this gives me uh, every position in T where P could start without running past the end of T. And I'm going to uh, create a Boolean variable, match, which I'm going to initialize to true. And I'm going to compare every character of P against the corresponding position in T. And if there's a mismatch, I'll set match to false. So I'm going to say 4j in range up to the length of P if uh, the character in T at i plus j is not equal to the character in P at j, then I'm going to set match equal to false. And there you're comparing the character at offset j within p, but to the character at offset i plus j within t to account for the fact that we're in the ith uh, alignment. So we're offset both because of what alignment we're trying and because of which character we're comparing. Right. And so if I find a mismatch, I'm going to set match to be false. And then there's no sense comparing the rest of P since we've already found a mismatch, so I can break out of that loop. Um, and now when I finish this, if our match variable is, is still equal to true, this means that P must match exactly against uh, T in that position. So in this case, I'm going to append uh, the index I uh, to our list of occurrences. Hmm. And then when this is done, when we've looped through every possible position, just return a list of occurrences. Yep. So that'll have the offset of every match of P within T. Right. So let's, uh, let's try this out. Let's just create a small text string of nucleotides. Uh, and I'll do a short pattern. I'll just choose uh, AG. And now I'll run naive on the pattern and the text like that. And we see it gets three uh, different places where P matches against T. We can just, we can check this by just um, looking at those indices. So there's zero to two. We can look at five to seven. And we can look at nine to 11. And yep, at that position, uh, T contains the letters AG. So now that we have this uh, implemented, now that we have naive exact matching, I'm going to generate some random reads from the genome. And I already have a function to do that, so I'm just going to paste that in here. And what this function does is it generates artificial reads from a genome uh, by just taking subsequences of a genome string taken from random positions in that string. So all of these artificial reads should match back exactly against the genome. So let's uh, generate a bunch of reads using this method. I'm going to use the phi x genome, which we already downloaded. 
and I'm going to generate uh, 100 reads of length 100. And once I do this, now I'm going to count how many of these reads match back exactly against the genome. Since they're artificially generated and there no, are no sequencing errors or mutations, they should all match exactly. So I'm going to create a variable numMatched, which will just count the number of reads that match. I'm going to initialize this to zero. And now for each read in our list, I'm going to get the list of matches for genome. Uh, so I have to put the pattern first. So I'm going to start with the read R and then the genome, the text that we're comparing it against. So the read is our pattern and the genome is our text. Yeah. So matches now is the list of ind indices where the read R matches against the genome. If this list has length zero, that means that our read didn't match at all. So if the length of matches is greater than zero, that means we found a match. So in this case, I'm going to increment uh, my variable num matched. And when this is done, I just want to print out the proportion of reads that matched. So I'm going to say print. Um, it's going to be the number of matches uh, out of the number of reads. Uh, that matched, and then put the variables here. So the first one is num matched, and the second one is the length of the reads list. So if you run this, 100 out of 100 reads match exactly. So that's cool. Our artificial reads all match the genome. Pretty good.